ticks on all the tortoises that are here at my house. Boop, boop. That is the world's largest tick. This is the biggest tick I've ever seen. I mean, just look at it. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode guys. So we're doing another episode here at my house. We are going to be looking for some ticks on all the tortoises that are here at my house. So last night I actually found a toad that was covered in ticks. So toads down here, the bufa toads are an invasive species and they are a carrier for ticks and they spread them. So because I found the toad in my yard that had ticks on him, there's a good chance that some of my tortoises will have ticks. So we're going to actually take a look. So we're gonna start with the red foot, then we're gonna do the radiated, then we're gonna do both the Galapagos tortoises to see if we can find some ticks. Um, I actually found a couple ticks on a tortoise, the big Galapagos, a couple weeks ago. I didn't film it, it was just in the excitement of finding them that I just pulled them all off and realized, oh crap, I could have made a video. So since I found some um, more ticks on a toad, there's a good chance that ticks are back, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be checking out all the tortoises for ticks today. So I'm here in the red foot tortoise pen now. We're gonna check these two. We're gonna check this. I believe this is a the female male. Let's see, what are you? Trying to female. So we're gonna check her for some ticks. So let's take a look around her leg area. The easiest way to check for ticks on tortoises is to flip them over. So the ticks are gonna want to, they're gonna be up here in their legs, on the back um, legs, as well as the front. Hi, how are you? So this one looks like she is all clear of ticks. Let's pull out the next one. What's up little guy? I look around the neck area. Don't see any ticks there, don't see any babies. The feet, mm -hmm. not seeing any ticks there either. Let me see, can I check your feet out? Yep, this one is good to go guys. So on two of the seven red foots that are out here, we are clear on ticks. This boy right here decided to come out, say hi. It's actually a rescue, so if you see he's he moves around funny just because he has metabolic bone disease. So his previous owners did not take very good care of him. They didn't know what they were doing, but he's living a good life here. Let's check you out for some ticks, big boy. Not seeing any ticks. What, what, what was that? I think there's a tick there. Oh, no, no tick. Nope, oh, I saw wrong. You're clear to go. You have a, a certified health exam, you're good. I'm here with the red foots. I just checked all seven of them for, you know, ticks. I didn't see any ticks. Everyone's looking healthy. You can see him right here. Where is he? This light's killing me. That's one of them right there. We just checked them. Sorry, my eyes, sun's blinding me again. I gotta get a pair of sunglasses for out here. But yeah, so the red foots are good. We're gonna go now check the radiated tortoise out. So we're here at the radiated tortoise now. I doubt that he has any ticks on him just because he, you know, is not on the regular grass, but we have to check just to be 100% sure because these ticks can jump. Hey, little dude. Man, just check him out. Look how, look how cool he is. Look how amazing these patterns are. Definitely one of the prettiest tortoises in the world. My favorite. Check your legs out. Nope, no ticks. You're good to go, bro. You passed the test. All right, so we're now here at my young Galapagos tortoise. He's only about two and a half years old, gonna be three in September. We're gonna check him for ticks. I actually checked him a couple weeks ago when I found some and he didn't have any. So I'm hoping that that's the case. Come here, dude. So he's big, so let me set the camera down and flip him over so we can check on his legs. So as soon as I flipped him over, I noticed there's a tick if he'll show it to me right there. See that little brown thing? That's a tick right there. He's a little bit nervous. We're gonna check the rest of his body out, make sure he has none. Nope, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, that's a massive tick. Holy crap. What the heck? Come on, let me see your legs. I'm trying to help you out here, dude. What, that was insane. So there's one small tick right there we're gonna pull off in a second that is the world's largest tick right there 
it has to be. As I just flipped them over, I looked over in the grass and this one is huge. Oh my goodness. What the heck? So I'm gonna put them right here on the shell. Oh, he fell, he fell. Oh my gosh. That is a massive tick. So what happens with ticks is they need a host to live. They need something with blood. So what they do is, is they go and they latch on. They latch on to, to tortoises like this or any other animal. And then they suck blood for days. And once they're big and fat and juicy like this, they hop off. They let the blood absorb into them. They, they consume it. And then they hop back onto another live host. But this one is just absolutely massive. This is the biggest tick I've ever seen. I mean, just look at it. Look at it on them. Absolutely insane. So I actually had some hemostats for medical stuff that I had when we were looking for them. I'm actually gonna pop them right now. Let's see what happens when we pop them. Oh my gosh. Look at that, that's just, that is just filled with nasty blood or doesn't even look like blood. This is like thick purple goo. So I got the paper towel now so I can show you what this sludge looks like. Look at that. That's just really nasty. So we're going to actually go pull the rest off. I think I saw one, two, three, four more ticks on them. So hopefully those are the last of the ticks. I'm going to have to treat the yard again too. We're here now with this tortoise that does have the ticks on him. So I don't know if you can see that one right here. Come on in. That's one big tick right there. So we got to get that one off. There's another one right, right up in here. You can see right there. It's kind of hard to see it. And then we have one right here on his leg. And then I believe there's another one somewhere. So we got our our hemostats here. We got the alcohol to put the ticks in. So let's get it. So I'm gonna hold them right here. Come here. We'll start with the small one. So with ticks, you want to make sure you pull completely off the head their whole body just because those heads can stay stuck in them come on so we got this one i know i'm trying to help you out bud i got him check him out like so you can see this guy right here it's a gnarly looking tick so we're gonna squeeze him get the blood coming out of him put him in the jar that right there is tick number one he is in the alcohol now he is dead now we got to get the others this one is the massive one. Come here, I'm trying to help you out, bud. Let me see if I can get this one. Oh my gosh, there he is. That is one massive tick, look at him. He is, he is just full of nasty blood. Let's pop him. You gonna pop? Let's see. He's just so tight right now. Oh, look at him, he popped open. That's all nasty, nasty black blood. Check that out. I'll put some on my nail right now for you to see. It's just all like oily. So we're gonna put him in the alcohol now. All right, guys, so if you look right here, there's actually one right here. I just noticed another small one. We're going to grab them right here and pull them off. We got them right here in the tweezers. Squeeze, pop them, and then in the alcohol he goes. Take a look what we got so far. We got one, sm two small ones, and then this one monster tick. So now we got for the grand finale tick we, on this guy, we got to get the big boy off. So I don't know if I'll be able to, you'll be able to see exactly me pulling it off but we're gonna try. Oh, we got him. Look at him. We got him, look at him. He is just huge. Look at him compared to my finger, my fingernail. Just a massive, nasty tick. So now that it's springtime, we're gonna see a spike of these guys out. It's warmed up, so they're gonna be on the move, but we gotta treat the yard and we don't want these things here. We're gonna put that inside the alcohol right here with the others and well, he's, he should be tick free. Let's check the rest of them. All 
I gotta lure this dude out of the, the bushes here with a banana so I can do a tick check on him. Come on. You want it? Oh, you, yeah, if you want it, you gotta come this way. All right, guys, we're here with this big girl. We gotta get her flipped over so we can check her for ticks. She hates this, but it's gotta be done. Okay. We're gonna be checking her legs right up in here. So she initially, when we first found the ticks on her, she probably had about 20 something on her, but we got them all off. And since then I found a couple and looks like I just found one right here. So if you come, you gotta check literally every, every crevice. So right up in here, right by her butt, there's a tick right there. Pull that thing off, pop it, and in the alcohol it goes. We're gonna check all up in here. The less ticks, the better. As fun as they are to pull off, I'm a weirdo. I love pulling them off. Ah, there's another one right up here. I'm helping you out, girl. Hold on. So if you look, there's one right up in here. You can kind of see it. Got it right here. Into the alcohol. Now we're gonna check right up by her neck, right up here in the front. We did a whole exam on her. We got two ticks off. We didn't find any other babies. That's great news. That means that there's not that many ticks left in the yard. So I treated the yard with something called diatomaceous earth, which is basically, it's like, sediment rock like fossils that's all crushed up that basically when it touches anything like a tick it actually punctures it and it makes the ticks dehydrate and die so i treated the whole yard here with that stuff so that's great that we're not finding any more ticks on it that means that there's a limited number of ticks in the yard all right everyone that is going to conclude another episode here today so if you guys have not already i want all of you guys to go comment down below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already we have a ton of awesome content coming. The next video is going to be a turtle pond setup, so you're not going to want to miss it, guys. Subscribe.